sometime after the session address, news came out that you had said that the real owners of Ghana are in power, something like that. Later on, there was a denial from your people, but the NDC continued to use it. It's, uh, it's still on social media, and they, that's how they describe you. What, what was the circumstances? Did you say something like that? Absolutely not. I not mean, at all? Not anything close to that? What I said is, Yaji Yemai Esifapim Papasu. That's in Chi. That's in Chi. So they interpret Yaji Yemai Esifapim Papasu as the real owners of this country that are is now to say we have, in charge. We have restored our nation onto a, a firm, found proper foundation. Yeah. So, and I, when I started that interview, I did say that they, they are fond of taking words out of context, putting words in people's mouths and running with it because they've done it to me quite a few times. Mm. And I used this illustration about um, free education. Yes. Which, which is an example I've used several times, that if I hadn't been to school, I would have been selling charcoal because I've sold charcoal before. Mm -hmm. And so based on where they are coming from, the northern part of the country, if they had not also not been to school, they would probably be herding cattle or be farmers or something. And in the run-up to the, I believe, the 2016 election, they twisted that out of context to mean that I was insulting all northerners. It's a similar thing that they did in here and in that same interview before i started i did say that i hope nobody would take anything i'm saying out of context and skew it to to have but a if certain you say that meaning the the foundation the nation is being restored onto proper foundation you are talking about a shift of the nation's authority from the ndc to the mpp so that the mpp is the proper foundation that's the point you're making the policies that have been implemented by the npp mm -hmm have moved this country onto a more solid foundation. And all the indices indicate that. And I had been at pains to demonstrate that in that same mm. interview. So if you take one phrase and wrongly, um, they even didn't interpret it properly because that's not what I said. Even if you take that Yajayamai statement, it doesn't mean that we are the real owners of the country. So I don't know who did that translation. Maybe that person wasn't a native um, Akan speaker and, and so thought that that is what it meant. But that certainly wasn't what it meant. We, the NP, MPP has moved this country away from Doomso. Uh, well, there was, was, was Doomso yesterday in places in Ghana. No, there were blackouts. But, uh, so there was, must was have difference? been a blackout. Yeah, the but Doomso been, is a systematic... The ECG to publish a timetable all over social media. There is no cause for that in their estimation. In fact, on the day when the president gave his sessional address and said that uh, there's no Doomso, there, there was... There was light off. There in, was in light off, yes. But yeah. light, light off is in doom. So we've had lights off for years. We never christened it as doom. So until it became endemic, when we had to sleep in darkness for o almost four years, and every day at a certain point in the day, the lights would go off, and it spread out over the whole country for four years. So that, that is, is doom. So consistency it doesn't and the mean that, that exactly. And we all know what it means. We've had blackouts, periodic even brownouts now and again. That's, that's normal. What's brownouts? Uh, well, when the, the, voltage thing. the voltage goes low and uh, the lights flicker. Mm. I, I'm, I hope that's what they call it. I don't know. Yeah, I thought blackout low voltage. low voltage, whatever. Yeah. Pardon my French. I beg. I didn't know. Okay. So I had been at pains to demonstrate that Doomsaw is gone. Uh, there's no graduate unemployment association anymore because of NACO, which is... Um, giving jobs to 100,000 plus young graduates in this country. Um, there's free SHS, so children who, who would otherwise have fallen through the cracks are now in school. Um, it's even depleted the scores of beggars and uh, doctor chain sellers on our streets. Um, there's planting for food and jobs, and I did indicate that. We now have the old harvests remaining while we are taking in the new harvest. It's more about food. Food, yes. I mean, the stock of the old harvest, we still have some remaining. And they, I was even struggling to find the meaning, um, how we uh, call June or something in tree, Kitaunsa. I didn't know which month that meant because it was a month of hunger when the old harvest was gone and the new harvest wasn't in. And so people had to um, kind of 
be uh, struggling to get food to eat. We don't have that anymore. And so the policies of this government, the economy is on a sounder footing. We were struggling to even meet the uh, IMF conditionalities that we had imposed on ourselves um, to gain policy credibility. Now we're being hailed across the entire globe. People are coming to watch the steps that we're taking in digitization. It's unprecedented, you know. And so people keep asking, ah, were these policies all around all this time? What happened that it is, seems to be in this era that everything seems to be coming together? Things are working. The country's working again. Mm. We are all living L witnesses to that. To That's a few SHS short years ago. Let me just le end mm. up on that. So what I meant is that Ghana has been saved from the corrupt, inept, inefficient NDC government. In a, let me say it in three. Yaji yemai efri uhim, ahuhim, enkwasum, atete, kwadanda, akusi impuntu, ekwaso. Simple. And people just take that completely out of context, create their own fiction, and run with it, and frost at the mouth. And I'm sitting there wondering, what's going on here? Who are they talking about? I certainly said nothing. The tape is there for everyone to listen to. If you listen to the entirety of the conversation, you'd know exactly what point I was making. They got it. But to put, take, take people's minds away from the weighty facts that I was putting out, which painted their governance of this country in a not so complimentary light. They had to cast this negative slur on what I said mm. and run with it. So please, I never said I anything it. like that anywhere.